This is the guts of a um, 2003 vintage um, guide gear branded jump box. This is the pair of printed circuit boards that handle things like um, charge management um, and output potential settings because one of the features of this unit is that through the bottom barrel connector on this board it can output either 3 volts, 4.5 volts, 6 volts, 9 volts, or 12 volts which are indicated by this series of LEDs which also double as the potential or the charge level in the internal battery there is indication for the same that the top barrel connector is used for either charging through the supplied um, charger which was just a um, 400 milliampere hour or pff, no 400 milliampere 12 volt um, wall transformer with a built-in cigarette lighter a receptacle and a cigarette lighter cord with a barrel connector on it or it could be used for um, back charging through a vehicle's cigarette lighter receptacle from the internal battery um, and then these are just mode indication LEDs for either charging charge or, or recharge which is the back feeding charging through the vehicle cigarette lighter receptacle or um, um, various output potentials or the um, internal um, multi-potential power supply mode this rotary switch also selected uh, which or selected between those various modes and off obviously this um, button is used to toggle through the um, um, various um, Uh, output potential level starts at 3 volts, 4.5 volts, 6 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, and then it repeats indefinitely. Uh, that is all controlled by that, which is an Elon Microelectronics EM78P156 ELP microcontroller. The sticker is, of course, a dead giveaway that it's probably a microcontroller, which has a um, program indication, or program number and revision, and for some reason the autofocus is really obsessed with that capacitor at least the face and detection whatever and one interesting thing is that this microcontroller has an absolute maximum rating for the supply potential of five and a half volts yet there's no regulator on the board these are all A733 transistors which I'm guessing might be might mean 2SA733 that one is as well, or no that one is as well I think yeah this. or um, BC945s yeah or 2SC945s possibly but I don't know um, so one of these might be a um, a Zener diode or something just as a potential clamp but there's another microcontroller in the inverter board, which I'll get to in a second, and that has a 78L05 powering it. It's the exact same uh, microcontroller, by the way, or at least part number. Um, and there's an LM393 um, comparator, which is most likely handling things like um, upper potential um, or low potential disconnect or charge management or something of that nature. I haven't had a chance to look through the schematic on this. And there's this, which is the MOSFET for the buck converter for the various output potentials. Which is a um, P60 NF0. Also, you can see that it was, um, there was a provision for a heat sink on the um, silk screen, but it was not installed. Then there's the inductor for the buck converter. Various uh, uh, ripple suppression capacitors, all them cheapy, crappy Chinese no-name ones, and a pair of HER203 uh, ultra-fast uh, silicon rectifiers, which is somewhat unusual, as normally you'd expect to see a shot key rectifier in this application, but, I don't know, this thing was um, 
I don't know, maybe nine years ago, the, these just happened to be cheaper. I don't know, even though the potential loss across them is, a, or the potential drop across them is substantially higher, so normally you don't see them in this kind of an application, but anyways, made in China. Then for purpose, then this, which is the um, connection for the, um, uh, this is the 12 volt DC in. You can see there was also originally a ground or a neutral wire on there, but it was cut off to avoid cutting a, a um, to avoid causing a ground loop because this wiring harness, which can, goes to the inverter board, uh, this uh, supplies the neutral through this, um, or this um, white wire acts as the neutral, so it was not necessary. You'll also see that they added a bypass capacitor as an after the fact addition. Then there's uh, this connection, which just goes off to the front light, which is a 12 volt, uh, 5 watt festoon lamp and the switch for Zen. Oh, by the way, this humming is, I'm just uh, charging this 14.4 um, volt drill battery that I rebuilt with a um, one of my bench supplies, uh, a 1970 vintage lab volt model 199 and uh, this 6 watt, uh, 6 volt, 6S6 six six indicator lamp is just serving as a um, current limiting. And there's this, which is the, well this is which is the main inverter board, heat sink obviously, the transformer for the potential converter, some HER305 uh, rectifiers, those are the output grates bridge, um, uh, the uh, 140 volt DC bus, a ripple suppression capacitor, again it's some SC or CS, it's some Generic no-name crap, but again made in China. What do you expect? Um, some more ripple suppression capacitors. Those two diodes. I'm guessing those might be for. Um, I'm just going PCB. Um, oh, they're AGR. There's so, so some kind of ultra-fast rectifier, but um, yeah, those. Something on the residential side, judging by the um, tra traces, but no time to figure out what exactly those are. Those sets of MOSFETs are obviously the um, base, those are the um, uh, primary driver MOSFETs for the um, transformer, which somewhat interestingly in this is a toroidal instead of the dual ferrite E core that you normally find. But I don't know. Being almost 10 years old, that might have been cheaper at the time, I don't know. Again, made in China. Then there's a number of transistors, most likely for... I don't know, um, probably MOSFET driving and... Uh, leveled it and... Um, and no, um, amplification, um, signal amplification or something of that nature. Microcontroller. And the crystal force same. Most likely because this thing needs more precise timing as it's driving the um, um, output H bridge and the um, and the uh, uh, transformer, or at least the um, providing the, base, the drive signal for the mos for the MOSFETs. Those are the H bridge uh, MOSFETs for the output, by the way. A, um, although also one thing to note is that this one is most likely using a um, it's internal RC oscillator, although considering that it's driving a um, buck converter, you'd think they'd want to have something like a crystal, but I don't know. Again, made in China, no logic whatsoever. By the way, as far as I can tell, that crystal has absolutely no marks as far as what the frequency is. And there's the obligatory warning buzzer. That guy, which is somewhat unusual, is that and that, that is a um, a um, PTC for uh, current limiting for as far as inrush on loads and also I think that's also how the how the uh, overload shutoff works because there's additional small signal traces heading off of that so most likely detects a potential a substantial potential difference across that and triggers the overload shutdown and there's this set of wires which goes out to the um, PCB on the front panel for the inverter which just has the idiot lights that say that it's uh, on and that there's a fault. There's the connection for the switch. 
There's the connections for the two fuses, which are a pair of 20 amp ATC fuses, and the receptacles. Note the stellar wiring job they did. And of course, the ground terminals are not connected. Then there's this, which is not super interesting. It's just the on off switch for the jump leads, cigarette lighter receptacle, 15 ampere switch for, or 15 ampere fuse for same. And a warning PCB that says whether or not it's safe to turn the switch on once you've connected the, um, or once you've connected it to the car that you're about to jump start. If you, because you're supposed to do it with the switch off. If the green light lights up, you can turn the switch because it won't shut down anything. If the red light lights up, and the well, buzzer might also go off because it looks like there might be one, I don't know if there might be one down there because I can't really see, but if the red light lights up and the buzzer goes off, don't flip the switch otherwise you'll short things out. So, that's pretty much it.